Uh, good evening folks, this is Eric Armour with Absolute Solutions. Uh, tonight we're going to look at uh, this uh, infamous little Relay 175. That's for the Volkswagen Jetta, uh, the 1.8 uh, turbo D, uh, no, just the turbo, and uh, with the fully automatic uh, transmission that is computer controlled. Uh, this little relay controls both the backup lights and also the starter interlock so that uh, when you are in reverse or in drive uh, you cannot start the vehicle uh, you must be in park or neutral to do that so we're going to look at how this little relay works it's actually a very interesting little relay um, the pins are actually numbered one through nine and it starts up as the relay is laying here in the top right hand corner with the yellow wire and it actually starts there with pin one okay so that's pin one two three then it goes to the second row and it starts back on this side four five and six and then in the bottom seven eight and nine okay so those are the pins now the actual schematic for this relay is uh, right here. I'm going to lift it up just a hair. There we go. And uh, we'll get a little focus there. And you'll see that across the top there's a 1, 3, and 9. And uh, you'll notice that goes into a little square box with an indicator of an NPN uh, transistor. Well, that's an interesting little fellow we're going to be looking at. And then we have five, six, and seven, which is uh, inputs. And uh, we notice that five, that is going to be the power coming from your uh, fuse box for your backup light. Uh, number two is actually the power coming uh, also from a fuse, but from your, when you turn on your ignition switch. Then number six is power that comes from the ignition switch when you turn it to the start position okay that's when we get power on pin six pin seven is ground uh, pin four is actually the output to the backup lights and then uh, pin eight will actually go on to your starter solenoid so this is the solenoid this relay is the interlock that powers the starter solenoid okay so now let's go to the little breadboard here and let's see what we actually did here to get that um, set up here for you. Okay, let's take a look. I have several uh, light bulbs here. Uh, I have a little LED. There's a yellow LED. That LED is going to represent our uh, drive position. Okay, so when it lights up, we have the vehicle in drive. Okay. Uh, the green LEDs represent the neutral position and the park position. You notice right now it's in the park position. Okay. Red is going to be the backup light, which means the transmission's in reverse. Okay. The two blue lights, that's going to represent our start circuit, which means when the little LED closest to me is lit, it means that we have turned the key into the start position. If the interlock and transmission is in its correct position, then the second blue LED will light up, which represents the starter cranking. If, however, the vehicle is not in park or neutral, then when we attempt to start it, only one blue light will come on, indicating that the ignition switch has been put in the start position, but that the starter solenoid is not energized and the starter is not running. Okay, so those are the lights. All right, so then I have, let's quickly look. I have the this little green wire. This one is the wire that is pin 9, which represents the transmission being either in drive or in reverse. Okay. So, uh, if it's in reverse, 5 volts is applied to pin 9. If it's in drive, 
there is no voltage applied to pin 9. So the transmission says no voltage, I'm in drive. Okay, if there is voltage there, I will be in reverse, but only if I am not in neutral or park. Very important distinction to make. The reverse status is only valid if you are in not in neutral or in park, which means even though you may have 12 volts on pin 9, uh, the system will not acknowledge that as being reverse unless you are out of park or neutral. So we're going to see how that actually interacts. Okay, uh, the other pin that we're going to look at here is the actual um, start switch. This is pin 6. All right, you'll notice that's the wire going to pin 6. This is my ignition switch. I'm going to represent this orange wire. When I touch it to 12 volts, it's turning this ignition switch to the start position. Okay, uh, the other important wires is, of course, the power from the ignition switch. We said that that was uh, pin 5. So you'll see pin 5 is, is the center one. It's coming right here uh, to power from uh, that would represent the ignition switch being on. And then, of course, the other one is uh, pin 2, which is the one coming from the fuse box for the uh, backup light. Okay, and that's this red wire here. All right, we've got pin 1 and 3. Those represent the park and neutral position switch. Okay, uh, that's going to be the ones that's going to determine whether we can actually shift into reverse or not. And then, of course, you'll see that the little red light here, that is our reverse, and that, of course, is going to be uh, the uh, connection to pin 8. Okay, if you look there, uh, let's take a look uh, uh, pin 6 maybe. Uh, let's just take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is going to be pin 4. So if you look back on the relay, pin 4, that is your actual uh, backup light. Okay, so that is our red light right there. Alright, so let's go take a look and see what happens when we shift the transmission. Alright, uh, here is our shift wire, and right now you'll notice it's not in the drive position. It's applying 12 volts to pin 9, so it's not in drive. It says, if you take it out of neutral, I'm going to shift into reverse. So let's go see what happens. Currently you'll see the park LED is on, right? So I'm going to take it out of park, all right? And let's go see what happens. Okay, we take it out of park. And we should be going into reverse. Let's see if that happens. There we go. Our reverse light has come on. Let's put it back into neutral. All right. I'm going to put it to neutral. Okay. And there you see we go to neutral. And our red backup light has gone out. Okay. Now let's go see. In this position, we should be able to start the car. So if we take the start ignition starter wire and we actually turn the key, you'll notice that both blue LEDs are on, including our green one showing that we are in neutral. All right, so both of them came on. Everything is working fine. Now, let's take it out of uh, the neutral position, and which is going to put us back in reverse because we still have this uh, pin 9 in the and not drive position and so if we take it out of neutral let's see what happens all right i'm going to pull the neutral okay there we go we're out of neutral and we went to reverse all right so let's go see if we can start the car all right we go and we actually turn the ignition you notice the blue light came on but the second blue light representing the starter circuit did not energize because we are not in neutral. We can actually see we're in reverse the backup lights on. All right, let's go back to uh, neutral position and let's see what happens now when we shift 
into the drive position. Okay, uh, let's go take a look. There we are, we're in neutral. I'm now going to remove the, the 12 volts from pin 9, okay, which means that it is going to go, and there we see we are in the drive position. So pin 9 now has no voltage on it, okay? So in that position, let's go see if we can start the car. Interestingly enough, uh, when we turn on the blue light, uh, that is our uh, switch turn to the start position, the actual start solenoid is not energized. Our key is in the start position. And you notice that Yes, we are in drive, and that's why we cannot energize the starter relay, okay? Now, let's go back to putting it into a neutral position. Let's see what happens. All right, there we go. We took it out, and pin 9 went to 12 volts, meaning we're not in drive. And guess what? We are in neutral, and look, we are cranking the starter. All right, so there we go. Um, we actually see the park and the neutral in action here. Okay, there we go to reverse. We took it out of neutral. And here we're going to park. And guess what? We're out of reverse. And we can now start the car. Both blue lights are on. Okay, hope that this was useful for you in uh, utilizing your... Um, starter and backup light relay for the uh, Volkswagen Jetta 1.8 with the uh, fully computerized transmission.